Today we will be doing another slime shop review. This time we are reviewing Squishy's Homemade. I will link their Etsy down below. Also, I am sorry for the slime stains on my tablecloth. In the package, I got some glitter, borax with the care card and social media tags, and of course the slimes. The first slime I got is a clear blue foam slime unscented, and it is called Mermaid Pop Rocks. It also has some shell glitter pieces in it, which I thought was really cute. This slime is just so good looking. It did arrive a little sticky and melted, so I just added some activator to it and it was mostly fine. So overall, I really liked this slime. It was nice and crunchy. It looks really pretty up close with the different color pastel beads and the shell glitter and the light blue color. I thought it was a really nice slime. I'd say the only downside is the stickiness, but maybe if I just added a little more activator, it would have been better. Plus, I know these slimes need to be slightly underactivated, so all of the beads will stay in it. Overall, I'd say this was a 9.5 out of 10. Post-editing cookie here. It was totally my fault. I didn't activate it enough, and now knowing what I know after reviewing the slimes, this is definitely a 10 out of 10. I love the appearance, and had I activated it just a little bit more, it would have been perfect. This is a great slime. This next slime was Peach Milk Thick and Glossy. It smelled amazing, like candied peaches or something like that. I don't know, kind of like peach rings, I guess. And it was thick and glossy, as it said in the title of it. This one was also a little melted, so I'm just guessing they all melted while shipping, but I added activator and it was perfectly fine after. So yeah, this one was really good. It smelled great. It had a really nice texture and drizzle. It had really nice bubble pops to it. So overall, I'd give it a 10 out of 10 for sure. 
This last slime is called Iced Lemon Pound Cake. It has a nice light sweet lemon smell which I thought was really nice and it also has this very realistic icing topping. And then on top of that there are white and yellow sprinkles, lemon femo slices, and some really pretty yellow and iridescent glitter flakes. Honestly, this slime was love at first sight. I think it's already gorgeous and I can't wait to feel the texture. I'm gonna be so sad to mix in the icing topping though. Also, I would love to know what clay this is because it is so soft. I either forgot or wasn't aware that this one was also going to be a Floam Slime, so I accidentally ordered two of the same textures, the Mermaid Pop Rocks and the Iced Lemon Pound Cake, but I ended up loving them both, so I'm glad that I did. This one was the least melted, I'm gonna guess it had to do with the clay on top, but I loved the scent, I loved the texture, I loved the appearance, so it's th this is my favorite. I think it's safe to say that Squishy's Homemade has really good Floam Slime, so if you ever want to order Floam Slime, I'd definitely go with one of theirs. That does it for this video. I'm so tired of doing these lengthy outro and intro screens. Maybe one day I'll have the confidence to actually show myself talking in these parts. Sorry if I talked funny or my voice was weird through this video. I had mouth surgery last week, so I'm still recovering from that a little bit. I think this is going to be the last slime review I do until October. When spoopy season comes, I'll probably be doing Halloween slime reviews because I'm festive like that. Don't forget to like and comment if you enjoyed what you saw. I'm really trying to get feedback and grow the community, so anything is appreciated. I will see you guys next time. Bye!